Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Decker Cards, if you didn't know. And uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to press the sub button. And yeah, this war of mine. So, I've been waiting to play this for quite a while now. Um, I picked it up recently. It's been on my list of things to play um, since I did Nightmare Zone. I was like, you know what? I want something else survival related. What do I like? I like this war of mine. I've not played this war of mine in a very, very long time. I think it's been about two years um, it's one of the very few games that has managed to make me cry so way this should be fucking fun uh, both games that have made me cry in the past I'm currently playing at the moment this and The Walking Dead so fun 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 so I've cleared my save data so we're starting completely fresh because I cannot for the life of me remember how to play this game so I want tutorials I want it all <laughs> We're going to jump straight in. Uh, feel free to show your support for the series by leaving a thumbs up. It helps a lot and it tells me that you like it. Um, and yeah, we're just going to jump straight in and see what happens. I've already... I, I look, like When I loaded the game back up, I had all my saved data stuff and I was like, oh, I'm going to have to clear all of this off. <laughs> so, I'm down onto like the initial save, I guess. There are going to be multiple seasons of this. Because I know that you can make your own custom games and make it more difficult and stuff, which I'm going to be doing. Here we go, so we've got three people from the looks of it. I think it's three the max or it's four the max? I can't remember. I'm going to sneeze though. I'm going to sneeze. Look at our desolate house. Okay, so, how long has this siege lasted? It's hard to say when every day is a struggle for survival. The city is crawling with snipers. Shelling is ordinary business almost every night. Phones don't work, there is a shortage of food and meds, and many people are left homeless. Bruno and Marco have always been good friends, so when the war broke out, they decided to stick together. They met Pavel, Pavel, Pavle, Pav, we'll call him Pav. They met Pav while scavenging for supplies. He used to be... Porrigan's star football player, now he's just another homeless victim of war. So they teamed up, hoping for the best. Okay, so... Oh, this was weird. So, I remember we need to start clearing stuff as quickly as possible. As soon as possible. Because the more space that we have moving on, the more things we can build and stuff. We need to be... I think we have to survive a month. When I came on, my... My, my most days survived was 40, and I think that is... Oh, hello. Raw food. Okay. So this is all the stuff that we can take. And just grab all. There we go. We might as well take everything, because we can store stuff inside the house. Um. Ah. I've only ever completed the game once, and... Yeah, I'm assuming that was the one that I completed it on. So, playing as Marco. He's a skilled scavenger. He's slightly wounded from something. We don't know what. We don't know what has injured him. We've got some water, some electrical parts. He's searching that, he's searching that. So, Pav is slightly sick. Bruno's fine. Marco is slightly wounded. So, if you've never played this game before, uh, and you've never seen anybody play this game before, it's very fucking depressing. It's very depressing, it's very dangerous. It is just... it is not nice. Right, he's searching that. Brilliant. So they're going to keep clearing the rubble. Once he's cleared that rubble out, it means we can start working towards getting into the back garden. Let's go upstairs. So, as we progress through the game, we're going to be able to like build different things. Uh, hello. So we can clear that rubble at some stage. I don't have a lockpick. So I'm not going to mess with any of that just yet. I'm trying to get my bearings. Uh, if we come home... Or if we're at home, like we are at the moment, we can skip the day if there's nothing left to really do. Uh, however, we've got things to do. Uh, oh, we've got a lockpick somehow. Bruno must have found one. Grab all of that. Feel free to leave any tips and tricks and stuff in the comments. Um... I try and record in advance, so I might not apply something that you comment straight away, if you do. Um, oh god, but I'll definitely try and do it for future seasons. And I'm probably going to be, like, 
you know, adding in my own characters and stuff and making my own story. It should be pretty interesting to do. Let's grab absolutely everything. Right, Pav can come inside. So we've got all of the sort of food stuff. Now there was like a thing where if you're slightly hungry you don't have to eat. You can like last a little while to save food. You, you only really need to focus on it if you're very hungry. So that's what I'm going to go off. He's going to pick that lock. I think the day ends at 6pm. I think you go from 6 to 6, but I can't fully remember. Oh, it's going to be a hell of a ride, this game. But yeah, it... <laughs> the first ending I got wasn't great. I did some uh, questionable things during that playthrough. And I think it might have actually been Bruno that it happened to, because I think it was the same people that I'm playing with now. I think you get the same people starting off in your first play. Um, but I'm pretty certain Bruno fucking killed himself. And it was not pleasant to read about it at the end. Let's just put it that way. Right, let's see what we can make. So we preferably want to make a bed. So you've got all of these little items, simple heaters, chairs, beds. We don't need to worry about a heater just yet. Um, we we'll wait until winter for stuff like that, but like a rainwater collector, workshops, things like that, we're definitely going to want. We're going to settle with a bed first. Um, I think we want it sort of, I think I usually put it on here, like on this floor. So we're going to go build a bed over there. That's, what's Mar that's what Marco is going to go do. So yeah, uh, we can open up our inventory, we can end the day early, which I don't really want to do just yet. So, you get the opportunity to go to different places on the map and like go out there and scavenge them and stuff and basically there might be hostiles there, it might be fine there, there might be like a sniper watching over there that could snipe you all of a sudden. Um, there's all sorts of crap that can lead to your death. Can I zoom in? That is what I would like to know. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Hello. Who? Who? Very, very slow zoom in. But it's got kind of like a prison architect thing where, like, whenever you go to an unknown, uh, un unknown location, you don't fully know what to expect, I guess. Ooh! We're going to want a crowbar, which I think we need a metal workshop for. What happens if we upgrade this? Enables the manufacture of more sophisticated items and appliances, providing us with more options to get food or meds and trade goods. We can upgrade it further to make electrical improvements. Um, metal workshop. Allows us to make tools such as shovels for clearing rubble, crowbars for breaking doors and knives for self-defense. That is what we want to build. And we want it in like a relatively accessible location, so we'll build it there. So, every single time you go out at night, you have to pick one person to play as, and everybody else stays at home and does their own thing, I guess. Um, hello, you're right. We'll send him up there, there you go. And basically you can pick like whether you want to put them on guard, whether you want them to go to sleep, and if you've got somebody that's like brutally fucking injured, you've got to make some, make some choices. And it's not always that easy. What have we got now? Hello! We've got goodies! Goody, goody, goodies! Right, we really, really need to make a crowbar before... Oh, I think we've run out of time. Yeah, we're going to run out of time. Oh no! It looks like we've got another in-game hour. We've got a little clock up there and it tells you the temperature and stuff, which is quite nice. Going to be useful for when it starts getting colder. We can do a custom game, like a sort of winter is coming sort of thing, which now that I've said it, I really, really want to do, where we can just have the entire playthrough being winter. Very, very tough. Right, so now we've got our crowbar. Fantastic. So every time we... Oh, look, we've even got more time. Maybe it's 8 p.m. I don't know. Go downstairs again. I'm still trying to get a, a feel for the uh, controls. Could we make another bed? No, we need some more components. Uh, we can make a chair. So that just basically pro uh, improves morale by the looks of things. We can make like these filters and stuff and fuels and what have you. 
purify rainwater. So if you put a rainwater collector down, I think you then need to put these filters into it to actually get the water out. Right, let's end the day. Boom. Let's do this. The first night, and nights are very, very terrifying. So we've got an abandoned cottage or a ruined villa. Uh, so we need to pick somebody to go. Oh, God. Uh, right, so Bruno, you are going to be scavenging. Marco, my dear fella, is slightly wounded. He's going to be on guard. Pav is going to go to sleep. Sleep in the bed. In fact, they can both sleep. I don't think we're going to get attacked on the first night. I'm feeling quite um, confident that we're going to be fine for the, at least the first night. So we can pick like one of these two locations. And as we keep on going, more and more will unlock. And we can visit old locations and stuff. So an abandoned cottage or a ruined villa. Oh, or a quiet house all the way up there. I didn't even see that. Uh, it's a calm area, little houses with porches and gardens. Okay, I feel like we should probably save that for now. I don't know, actually. Ruined villa. Uh, canned food and possibly bandages or medicines, but they don't want to trade. If we're desperate, we could try to steal from them. And then, it's been abandoned ever since. Still, we might find some useful looters overlooked or left behind. I think... Yeah, I think we should go to the abandoned cottage. It's like a nice in-between and then go to the quiet house next because I think there are people at the quiet house and I don't want to upset anybody. <laughs> so we're going to take, we're not going to take any food. Um, you can take like food and stuff with you to trade and what have you or to eat while you're out. We're just going to take the crowbar and roll with it. This is all the shit that I remember and I'm sure that as we get further into it, I'm going to forget. <laughs> It's all flooding back to me now. Mm. Okay, so... I've usually got this tactic. There's nobody in this place. I remember coming here before. So, I've got this tactic where... You search through the entire place and you use... Usually I use this area here. This little, this little um, search zone. But you can use any. And I'll basically store everything in this section. So, if I come over here and search this, do 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 do, uh, and we grab everything out of it, I then run over to this and put everything in it. So when I do this, I am going to cut it off camera. So I am going to be playing some of this off camera. But this is like a really, really surefire way of me knowing, like, okay, I've got components over there, or I've got components over here, or whatever. So, if I want to skip a day or two off camera, I can basically come here at night, run down here, fill my inventory up with whatever it is that I need, and then get out of there. That's what I try and do with a lot of the places that I go to. A lot of the time I forget, and a lot of the time I stop doing it, but usually with this first place it's what I do to maximise the amount of shit that I get. So we're just going to do it with this lower section, and then we're going to take Bruno upstairs with his crowbar. <laughs> his lovely, lovely crowbar. Look at that, we've got some uh, roll-up cigarettes, some coffee, fertiliser. Now I think locations can become unavailable for like a set amount of time. So it is a little bit of a risk. Hello, we've got a fridge. Oh, look at all of that. That is beautiful. That is fantastic. And I think we can change settings whenever we create a custom game. So that things become more rare. And shit like that. Because <laughs> uh, everybody wants to make games more difficult. Right, let's just put everything in there. Fish bash bosh. Some fucking herbs. Some lovely asparagus. Right, now let's go upstairs with the crowbar, because this area has like a locked door, I think. And I think we can get through with the crowbar. We can. So if you don't have a crowbar and you don't have a lockpick, you'd have to come back to this location a little bit later. But I specifically got a crowbar very early on. I was like, nope, I need that. Fuck getting a knife. I want a crowbar. Right, let's see what luxuries we can pick up. Hello, more tobacco, more cigarettes and stuff. Cigarettes are always nice, good things to trade. What have we got in here? Uh, a lot of components. A lot of components, which is good. I'm going to take as many as I can possibly carry. 
Right, let's head back down to the little stash. Because we can come back here when we've got like a shovel and like dig through the rest. We're going to come down to here and we're going to decide what to take back. So, very early on, because uh, we're going to be building a lot of stuff, I'm going to prioritise components, wood and food. As well as water. Water's something that I'm going to take, but it's not going to be as important as everything else. Wood I'm definitely going to be prioritising. <laughs> Bish bash bosh, bish bash bosh. And then let us take. Um... Oh, okay. We can make like soup and stuff, which is nice. We're going to take that raw food with us. And then we're going to take the cigarettes back. Because if somebody turns up, we can trade with them. So it'll be quite nice. So yeah, like probably on the next night or the night after that, I'll come back to this location and basically search the rest but we'll go back to the house now well I have a sip of my drink oh it's suddenly gotten very intimate mmm a little sip of the drink day two so we're like what um, 2.5% through 3% <laughs> through this night was calm Bruno had been searching for supplies and brought back some interesting things and then it showcases what I brought back. So, sometimes you might get attacked. Sometimes you might not. Um, I think all of my shit instantly gets sorted out. Just into the house. Yeah, I think it's all in here. And then when somebody arrives, we can trade books and stuff with them. I want a shovel. Preferably. Right, you. What are you doing? Who are you? Marco. He slept poorly, but that's fine. He's hungry and he's slightly wounded. Okay. So beds are going to be really, really good for healing people. We can find medicine out in the world. We've got, like, up here we've got some uh, some little logos and stuff. So there's, like, pills, there's bandages, more pills. There's, like, ibuprofen and paracetamol uh, icons. Vegetables, alcohol, canned food. Obviously canned food is better. I think normal food does go off. But I'm not entirely sure. Which, speaking of, we're going to cook. We're going to make a stove. A simple here. No, we're not. Here we are. No, we're not. We need 18. Holy balls. 18 components. Well, we're going to have to go get some. Um. Ooh. Okay, so a radio. It would be great to listen to current news and weather forecasts. We could be better prepared to deal with hardships if we knew about them well in advance. So... Sometimes on the radio it'll tell you, okay, well there's like a firefight happening in so-and-so place. In which case, you can't go there. <laughs> um, so I feel like that might be quite useful to have. So we're going to go put it. Um, oh, there's a lot of locations. We could be living upstairs if we wanted. Uh, we'll put it down there next to the workshop. He's made his uh, thing, his shovel, his chevelle. We need more components, that's what we need to prioritise. How are we doing on wood? Are we, have we got enough wood to be making most things? We've got quite a bit of wood, haven't we? We've got like double what we would usually need. So, on the next run, we're not going to need as much wood. I don't know, you'll have to let me know whether you want me to cut certain things out. Um, as in like me making runs to locations just to get like little objects. Like, do you want me to cut that out? Do you want me to keep it on camera? I'm fine with either. <laughs> it's just, there might be like three or four days in a row on this game where I, I just make a run to somewhere and that's it. So I'm leaving it up to you guys. There's going to be like a day or two break between the first episode of this and the second episode so that you can let me know. <laughs> I'll probably upload it first actually and then see what the response is before recording any more. So yeah, we definitely need more components for that so that we can start cooking the food. We've got some medicine though, which is good. So, he is recovering because he's been in bed. He's gonna have to take the bed though next, which is a shame. But it's what's got it's what's got to happen. Pav, I'm afraid you've got to go out next. Sorry, pal. Pav. Pavle. Pavel. Or maybe it's Pavel. I don't know. Uh, right, what are we doing? He needs to sleep in the bed. Pavel, you're coming out. I don't know what your name is. We're going to stick with Pavel, Pavel. 
So, we've unlocked now the supermarket and the shelter school. Which, we're not going to rush to. <laughs> because I know for a fact that the supermarket can be very fucking bad. And the shelter school, I think, also has NPCs there. Which, I don't think are hostile, but... I mean, the supermarket might not be hostile. It might be empty, but I don't really want to risk it. Bruno... What are you doing? We need some- right, he's sleeping in the bed, Marco's sleeping in the bed. We're gonna go back to the abandoned cottage to get some components. We're gonna make it nice and easy for us. Let's take the shovel as well, because we can clear out some of the area. And then, open up like- oh no, shit! I should've brought the crowbar as well. I can't open that cabinet. I'm gonna have to make a third run to this house. Right. Oh, we've still got all of these locations. Bloody hell, he runs quick! Holy shit! He is literally a fast runner. I didn't really see that. <laughs> I was like, eh. Right, okay. What is that? Fertilizer. Oh, because you can make like a little... Uh, little hydroponics thing inside, can't you? Oh, I didn't get many uh, components, did I? Maybe there's some over here? Oh, there might be some up back up top. I thought I had way more components than that, but I guess we might be using a lot of them. Let's see what we had in here. There we go. Grab all. Grab it all! So yeah, for certain things you're gonna need like electronic parts, weapon parts, things like that. Um, yeah, there's electric parts. We, we're gonna be taking them back, but just not yet. Again, I'm gonna stash it all in here because it's like the perfect in-between section for going inside the house and not going inside the house. We don't need any wood. We're gonna take more of those. I think there was tobacco leaves in there, weren't there? I don't know. Oh! Let's pull this off. Oh, we can peek through the door. The, the door hole? <laughs> we can peek through the keyhole. Go on, took it off. There we go. Now we don't have to go underground if we don't want to. Other than our stash, obviously. Right. Oh, look at all these. Fantastic. Let's go deposit some of the shit and then we'll go clear it out with a shovel. Come on, Pavi. Pavi, Pavi, Pavi. Pa, 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 pa. He's got more backpack space as well, hasn't he? I keep on forgetting that that's also a thing. So I think you've got from roughly 7 or 8 I can't, uh, p.m. till 6 a.m. And then it's like far too dangerous to be out um, in this game. So you just hustle back to the hoose. Hustle back to the hoose. Right, let's use our shovel. So, that was what we would dig in with our hands back at the base. So, without the shovel, it would have taken a very, very long time. And then that's the cabinet that we're going to have to use the crowbar on. Because, oh no, never mind, it's not locked. Oh, no, it is locked. Uh, what is this? A note that says... On the first day, they robbed us. Two days later, they murdered our girls. I shot every one of them, but I don't want to use the gun anymore. It's broken and buried in the backyard. The next part looks shaky. If you're reading this, don't look for me. Okay, so I don't think you can actually go into the backyard, which is a shame. Because we could have gone to get that. Right, let's see what we're taking back with us. Oh, we can also use the shovel as a weapon. Holy shit. Right, we're going to take some of these parts back, because I know that we're going to need them further down the line. And we're going to take some water back. There we go, we've got a, a full inventory of things. Of thingy thing things. I think, yeah, that's a rat there, causing sound. <laughs> right, let's head back. Pavel, Pavle, Pav is back. We're entering... Day three, I think. Is that how it works? Or am I day ahead? Yeah, day three. Doing good. We're doing pretty good. Solid start. Let's hope nobody raided us. Oh. Oh, what did they take? Marco's a bit unwell. <gasps> they, stu they took food. Oh my god. We should have put somebody on guard. Shit, they took food. We only had like five. Yeah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Okay. Bollocks. <laughs> That's what I get. Oh. 
Hello. So yeah, it we like keep notes down and you can rotate the radio, I guess. And yeah, I'll fiddle around with that. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Right, what are we building? What are we building? We want the stove, don't we? So that we can cook the food. Simple heater. So, I'm going to put it... I, I usually put it in the kitchen for obvious reasons, but I'm going to put it down here. Next to the bed. Or beds. I'm going to put it there. To keep us warm in the future. So... Yeah, we're all still normal hungry, which is okay. I think. I think we're allowed to be slightly hungry all of the time. If that makes sense, I don't really know. We're just gonna have to see. I'm just trying my best to uh, save materials or save supplies and shit. Oh, I'm trying not to burp. Right, so yeah, we can we can use fuel. I think we can also burn books, which is uh, depressing. Yeah. Components we need, if it eats up the shelter much more efficiently, using less fuel, and obviously we can cook food. Is there anywhere else in this house that we haven't searched? Ah, up there. Hello. Let's go. Oh! Someone's at the door. Hello. Oh shit, why have I gone down the stairs? I was like, let me go get things, and not realising that I've always got things. Boom. Hello. Let's make a deal, sure. We really need some food, because we've just had some taken off of us. Um, I bet your food is expensive. So, there's not really a currency. It's a bit weird. But we're gonna... It's sort of like you offer things and they say whether or not they're gonna do it. And at different points in the game, depending on whether there's been a fight recently, whether a location's been, like, sieged and you can't go to it, it depends on how much things cost. So you can see down here, you'd have to show me a lot in exchange. It would cost you. You can have it for almost nothing. Things like that, basically. Um, what happened to those cigarettes I brought back? Did they get stolen? Somebody used them. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Almost nothing. Oh, so ammo is apparently common, if he, if he wants to be honest with us. Oh, have I taken too much? Have I been too cheeky? Holy shit, so it's going to cost me a diamond for two bullets. No way. Ho, ho, ho. Or a diamond for one food. What about a, uh, a canned food? Oh my god. He's driving a very hard bargain. What about these books? Okay, that's what it's going to cost me for a can of food. Deal. Go away. Bugger off. Yeah, let us get some more shit first. So canned food is obviously better to have, because I don't think it goes off. I can't remember. There's like a difference between the two, and I'm not sure what it is. I think maybe canned food is a little bit better. I don't know, I'm not sure. Fucking Bruno's having a sit down, I don't blame him. Oh, he's having a cigarette, look at him. That's where my cigarettes are going. What the fuck? The cheeky bastard. Go upstairs. Fucking having a cigarette. You dirty shit. I need you to be clearing this house. Oi, behave. We need to be clearing this house out. 